Heating in a crucible is a useful technique for reactions where you need to heat something to a very high temperature. Crucibles are made of a ceramic material which can withstand very high temperatures, and they come with a lid. We also need a pipe clay triangle which we place on top of a tripod in the manner shown on the screen. This crucible contains copper carbonate. This undergoes thermal decomposition when it's heated. The Bunsen should be started on a low flame with the air hole half open. The air hole can then be fully opened very slowly. You will be told how long to heat your crucible for. If instructed to do so by your teacher, you can safely remove the lid using a pair of tongs to inspect your reaction. The open crucible should always be viewed from the side and never from directly above, even though you're wearing safety glasses. If permitted to do so, you can continue to check your reaction by lifting the lid very carefully. Thermal decomposition of green copper carbonate leads to the formation of black copper oxide, as you can see in the crucible on the screen. In this case, we continue heating until no more green solid remains. At the end of your experiment, the Bunsen burner should be turned off and the crucible allowed to cool. This will take some time. Your teacher will then give you guidance on what to do next.